What if I were to tell you that the best player select in the 2017 MLB draft was a 5'11 second baseman who didn't play on the field this past college season because of injuries and may need Tommy John surgery? But this player is better than Hunter Green, an 18-year-old who throws 102 miles an hour, and Brendan McKay from Louisville, who shined as a two-way player in arguably the best college baseball conference. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother. The reason why Keston Hyera is the best player in the 2017 MLB draft is through one simple thing, which is his bat. Let me throw out a couple batting averages. 500, 442, and 403. Those aren't his T-ball, Little League, and JV batting averages. Those are in order his high school varsity senior year, junior season at D1 UC Irvine, and the midst of his first professional season in both rookie ball and Class A full. In high school, like I mentioned, he hit 500 in his senior season with only 96 at-bats. But with only 96 at-bats, he hit 14 home runs and 12 doubles. He received little interest from any big name schools and schools outside of California, and when at a perfect game showcase, he received a PG grade of 8 and had interest from only 5 Division 1 schools. He decided to attend UC Irvine who competes in the Pac-12 conference. He started every game as a freshman in college and finished the season with 76 hits, 18 doubles, and a 330 batting average. His sophomore season saw his average rise to 358, and he hit 7 home runs, and after that season in the summer, he would compete with the Collegiate Team USA team, where he would hit 3 home runs and a game-winning home run in the title game versus Cuba. His junior season is where he exploded and had an outstanding year at the plate, accumulating 88 hits and 199 at-bats, and had 24 doubles, 8 home runs, and finished with an NCAA leading 442 batting average. Yes, a 442 batting average. His astonishing hitting numbers could be in part to the fact that he never played the field in his third season at Irvine and only DH'd, but he did so in every game the team played. You remember that 4 or 3 number I said earlier in the video? That's been his combined batting average across two levels of the minor leagues. But he got promoted from rookie ball to full season A after just 15 games when he was supposed to be in rookie ball for two months. Why is that? That's just because he hit four home runs, five triples, three doubles, and batted 435 in just 15 games. Through 18 games in full season A with the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers, he's still batting a very good 375. Hayer is just a hitting machine, and he had the most consistent stats over the years leading up to the draft, and in two months since the draft, he has put up the best numbers in the minor leagues. Scouts and the Brewers management have said that Hayer could be in the big leagues as soon as 2018. Hayer is definitely the most underrated player in the draft, and is very likely the best. Let me know down in the comments if you guys knew about Hayera and what your thoughts on him are. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoy hit that subscribe button. And until next time. Hold on, hold on.